Hey, welcome to the first Spike Prime lesson. I'll start with the super easy stuff like, you know, how to pop open the box lid. Just kidding. For real, I'm gonna talk about the paper that comes with it. It matches up perfectly with the grid spots, makes it a breeze to pack up if you check it against that. Wanna give it a try? Before you connect the Spike Prime Hub, you'll need Spike Prime version 3.4x or the Mindstorms Robot Inventor app. Honestly, I find the Spike Prime app kinda shaky. So I'd recommend going straight for the Mindstorms Robot Inventor app it's got more features and works better. So, how do you connect? On the screen first turn on your computer's Bluetooth. Power on your hub, hit the Bluetooth Connect button in the top right and look for available devices on the screen. Click one to pair up. In the Spike Prime app, you can choose the matching option based on whether the hub's light is green or white. You can also connect with a cable. If your hub cannot be updated to the Mindstorms Robot Inventor version, using Spike Prime app can pass this part. First, you need to downgrade your hub version first. Second, you need to connect to the device to update. Make sure Windows can read your device. Hold down the hub's Bluetooth button, don't let go. Plug in the cable, and once you see the light frame start flashing, you can release it. If your device doesn't pop up as an option, make sure to enable USB device connection first. Then just follow the on-screen instructions. From there, you can rename your hub. Check how much battery is left, and if you're using the Mindstorms version, there's a handy auto connect feature. Hold down the big button on the hub to turn it on or off. You'll see it's got speakers, a charging port, and six ports around it. Let's do a quick test. Turn it on, use the left or right buttons to find the heart icon, then press again to activate. Plug in a motor or the black sensor and follow the steps on the screen. You can also try replacing a different sensor or motor. Alright, time to code. Select the light function on the left, copy me by dragging the code blocks, and hit start.
Commands with a timer, like to seconds, will vanish after that time. But blocks without a timer stay lit until another block messes with them. Switch to the Spike app. It's basically the same coding setup. And yo, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and drop a like. Try to spell the letter R and the lock yourself. You can pause the video and try it yourself. The light can also be adjusted to be a little darker, maybe it will have a different effect, try it. You can show simple graphics or even text on the hub, but it's gotta be English or numbers only. The first lesson is over. I hope you like it. New courses will be uploaded in the future. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out.